Russia-Ukraine War, Severe Impact on Russia's Arms Exports Introduction In the wake of the Ukraine-Russia War, India, Vietnam, Myanmar, Pakistan, Bangladesh, China, Egypt, and Algeria are keeping a close eye on its defense imports from Russia. According to Al Jazeera News, Russia is the world's second-largest arms exporter, behind the United States, accounting for roughly 20% of global weapon sales. Russia exports a variety of weapons including planes, engines, missiles, armored vehicles, and air defense systems. Russian Arms Export China is the second-largest buyer of Russian weaponry at $5.1 billion over the same period, followed by Algeria, $4.2 billion, Egypt, $3.3 billion, and Vietnam, $1.7 billion, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Impact of Sanctions Russia imports most of its composite materials, high-tech machinery, semiconductors and electronics for its defense industries from Germany, Italy, South Korea, and Taiwan. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has emerged as one of the world's greatest challenges. It has forced many countries to either impose tough financial sanctions on or limit bilateral ties with Russia, proving that the Russian invasion of Ukraine could have long-term repercussions. One of Russia's biggest challenges is accepting payment from its buyers as Russia is banned from the SWIFT system. Collateral damage Most Russian manufacturer depends on Ukrainian companies to supply them with spare parts for export customers. Russia's Yak-130 training aircraft is fitted with the Ukrainian Evchenko Progress AI-222 engine. Russian Admiral Budakov and Admiral Istomen frigates were sold to India because their marine propulsion comes from Ukraine, Mi-8 and Mi-17 turboshaft engines come from Ukraine, R-27 missiles parts come from Ukrainian Artem. Let's look at some of Russia's arms buyers. India Indian orders worth $9 billion are still pending delivery. According to Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, CIPRI, an international think tank that studies conflict, armaments, arms control, and disarmament, Russia's share of total Indian arms imports fell from 70 to 49 percent. Losing India as a buyer would be the most significant blow to Russian defense industries since the Soviet Union collapsed. India also imports defense equipment from Ukraine and Russia has destroyed Ukraine's military-industrial complex. Algeria Algeria intended to upgrade its Su-30 MKA to the latest standard Su-30 SM-2. However, Algeria would not have any option to transfer funds to Russia and pay for the equipment. Vietnam The Vietnamese Air Force was planning to buy Su-57 and Yak-130 from Russia. Under the current sanctions, Russia would not be able to import composites from Germany and semiconductors from South Korea. Russia would not have the financial and technical means to develop Su-57 and Su-75 fighter jets further. Myanmar The Myanmar Air Force ordered six Su-30 SM-2 fighter jets in 2018 and has yet to receive a single aircraft from Russia. Ukraine-Russia war further complicates weapons supply to Myanmar. China Although China manufactures a vast array of weapons domestically, Still China imports Su-35, S-400 surface-to-air missiles, Mi-17 helicopters, RD-93MA, RD-33MK, AL-31F and AL-41F engines from Russia. China wanted to buy Ka-52 attack helicopters from Russia. The recent Ukraine conflict and shooting down of Ka-52 helicopters by Stinger missiles will deter China from buying Russian Ka-52 helicopters. China also imports defense equipment from Ukraine and Russia has destroyed Ukraine's military-industrial complex. Conclusion Russia's arms industry consists of 1,300 companies employing about 2 million people. The largest of these companies is Rostec, founded in 2007 by President Vladimir Putin. Without arms export, Russian defense industries will be in life support by the Kremlin or bankrupt soon. Comment below and let us know the consequence of the Ukraine Russia war on Russia's arms industries. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.